They both left their American homes to see what wonders Germany had in store for their lives. As it turns out, the move would not only bring this duo together, but make their dreams come true. Then, after a short run creating international chart-topping hits, a heartbreaking tragedy would change everything. Let's find out what happened to German Eurodance duo La Bouche. Born in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and raised all over, including Kentucky and Alaska, as a military brat, Lane McRae was an all-around entertainer in the U.S., singing, dancing, and acting in various musical theater productions. Growing up, he was heavily influenced by many Motown artists, such as The Temptations, The Spinners, and The Supremes. In the future, he would go on to become a member of the United States Air Force and end up stationed in Germany. Eventually, he left the Air Force to pursue music full-time. Charleston, South Carolina-born Melanie Thornton would begin studying voice in her formative years. She was inspired by singers whom she idolized and grew up listening to, such as Aretha Franklin and Roberta Flack. Later on, she found herself in a band in Macon, Georgia that wasn't going anywhere, so she knew it was time for a change. In 1991, she decided to move to Germany, where her sister and brother-in-law already lived. Her brother-in-law's uncle, a singer and piano player, heard Melanie on tape and promised her that he would find her work if she ever came to the country. After starting out on the German nightclub scene, she also soon found work in studios recording demos. Shortly after that, Melanie and Lane would meet when a friend of Lane's asked him to join his cover band, of which Melanie was already a member, called Groovin Affairs. One day, Melanie recorded a song that would ultimately change her life when it caught the attention of German record producer Frank Farian, the mastermind behind the infamous 80s duo Millie Vanilli. He decided to take both Melanie and Lane under his wing in an effort to create the ultimate dance music duo. He was also the one to give them their name, which means the mouth in French since they always had a lot of opinions and often battled back and forth with Frank in the studio over their sound and look. That song ended up being Labouche's debut single, Sweet Dreams, which dropped in March 1994. A year later, the follow-up single, Be My Lover, would become an even bigger hit, claiming the number one position on the charts in Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, and Sweden. It also became a top 10 hit in the US, peaking at number six on the Hot 100 and number one on the dance chart. Since the chemistry between the two was undeniable on stage, fans naturally assumed that they must be an item off stage. That was actually not the case. However, due to knowing and working with each other for so long, they did end up developing romantic feelings for one another. Those sentiments can be heard loud and clear in the lyrics to their smash hit, Be My Lover. They decided not to act on those feelings and continue to keep things strictly professional. They would both move on with Melanie eventually getting married and Lane entering into a long-term relationship with the lead singer from fellow Eurodance group Culture Beat, Kim Sanders. Also at this time, Melanie was enjoying added success under a different name. Fellow German Eurodance group Le Click released the smash hit Tonight Is The Night. To the world, the duo consisted of Kayo Shikoni and rapper-singer Robert Haynes. However, Melanie's vocals took the lead on this particular song. She actually recorded it around the same time as Sweet Dreams. Both tracks were shopped around and another label picked up Tonight Is The Night. Once upon a time, it was even believed that the rap performance was done by Lane, but later it was revealed to be Robert. It was eventually included on the US version of Labouche's debut album. The album, aptly titled Sweet Dreams, was released in June 1995. Their second studio album titled SOS, or A Moment of Love, for the European version, was released in June 1998. Several singles were released and did only moderately well. In addition to her work with Labouche, Melanie still provided guest vocals on many singles for other artists. After building up her repertoire, she felt the time was right to strike out on her own, and in 2000, she did just that, leaving Labouche to pursue a solo career full-time. She experienced success as a solo singer with her hit, Love How You Love Me. 
In May 2001, Melanie released her first and only solo album titled Ready to Fly. Towards the end of the year, she was asked to record the song Wonderful Dream, Holidays Are Coming, for soft drink manufacturer Coca-Cola. It was going to be featured on a German television commercial during Christmas time. Sadly, shortly after her final performance in Leipzig, she lost her life in a plane crash near Zurich, Switzerland on November 24, 2001. She was 34 years old. After her passing, the single went on to become her biggest solo hit, climbing all the way to number three on the German singles chart. As a tribute to Melanie, Frank Farian decided to release a compilation album featuring songs from her album, along with the best tracks off LaBouche's two albums called The Best of LaBouche, featuring Melanie Thornton. He also debuted a previously unreleased track featuring her vocals called In Your Life. Understandably, Melanie's passing devastated Lane. He took a significant amount of time off, several years in fact, while drowning his sorrows in alcohol. One day, he decided enough was enough and he needed to get back to doing what he loved to do, make music. He continued to honor Melanie by keeping the LaBouche brand strong with featured rotating vocalists such as former LaClick lead singer, Swedish-Nigerian Kayo Shikoni, and Hungarian singer Sophie Cairo, just to name a few. In 2018, they debuted their first new single in 16 years called Night After Night. Their latest effort, called Rhythm of Love, dropped in September 2020. Music isn't the only art form that Lane has a passion for. He also paints and has established the Lane McRae Art Gallery. Some of his works can also be found on his website. 2021 has already proved to be a big year for Labouche. In July, it was announced that Hungarian singer and pianist Timmy Kulai will serve as the new lead vocalist for Labouche's live shows. Additionally, Lane continues to work on his own solo projects. He released his latest single in June called Save My Life. New Labouche music is also on the way, with plans to release an album featuring various international vocalists. Lane's message to his fans about it on Labouche's official website suggests that the long wait will indeed be worth it. I am extremely excited to share all of this great new music with my fans. I have test played some of the singles at various nightclubs around the world, and the feedback has been incredible. I can't wait to shock the world when they see some of the A-list talent that is on board for this new project. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.